all right you guys welcome back to my channel my name is shay for all you who do not know shout out to you guys for being here do not forget to like comment share and subscribe all right so i'm feeling like it's necessary to expose satan today you want to know why because the attack has been real so i made a poll and i posted it to our community page on my channel right and i asked if i was the only one coming under like strong spiritual attacks but to my surprise it was 100 percent. the last time i checked it was 100 percent um that other people were feeling and experiencing these spiritual attacks as well it's the craziest thing that we can do as christians or as people period human beings is to think that satan is not real oh satan is real okay and he and he shows up and he shows up how through people he will find the smallest crack and use people to come in and get to you that's his main goal and especially for those who are professing the name of jesus christ for those who actually are living this thing out for real you have a target on your back so when these attacks comes uh don't be shocked i mean and, and listen satan comes and he will you know shock you by how he comes and who he uses to shock you. But please be aware that the shock value is always going to be there. So make no mistake, there are many, many, many demons. Do not get this thing twisted, okay? But the one thing that I realized is that when Satan is involved, there is one telltale sign um, if a person in your life has a demon. And that is they're going to have Satan's characteristics, but most importantly, they will lie okay listen this spirit uh uh anybody with the spirit of satan anybody who's you know battling demons they're going to lie okay lie 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 and not only that but i think that it's crazy how medical professionals right they have taken this thing a step further and had the audacity to start naming you know, the, this demon. It started naming this thing habitual liar, which is, you know, people that lie out of habit. You know, they just can't help it. It's just blah, okay? Those are the ones with no self-control. Then we have the sociopathic liar, right? And these people have no um, re regret for lying to your face repeatedly, okay? This is a demon. You have to remember on a spiritual aspect, demon. And because these people have no guilt, it lets me know that there is no conviction, okay? Conviction comes from the Holy Spirit. No conviction, no Holy Spirit. So then they name the pathological liar, okay? These are the type of people that Satan uses and this spirit will, you, you just have to assume that everything out of their mouth is a lie, okay? That's pathological liar. Then you have the compulsive liar, okay? This demon... It is all wrapped up into one. However, this compulsive liar, they they lie just to keep a conversation going. You know, like you ever talk to somebody and it's like, oh, you know, well, I went to um, the beach last year. And then they like, well, I went to the beach last year and I bought a Maserati that same day. Like, it's just got to be like super out of control. Like, it's just elevated. Okay. And they do it for self-esteem reasons. Okay. Again, the, the medical professionals did this. They they categorized it and tried to make it seem like it's nothing other than a demon. But but in the natural realm, it's good to know, you know, what to expect. Last but not least, there is a psychopathic liar. Okay, this psychopathic liar is the most dangerous of them all. Okay, you can I looked this up. I researched it and. This is the type of demon that you want to stay far away from. This is the type of demon you don't want your sons or your daughters nowhere near. You know, um, they have just no emotion. They don't have any regret. They could care less about who they hurt, including themselves. Like, this demon is dangerous, okay? And this is the type of demon who could go and shoot up a school and, and just not not care okay um and this is why it's so important 
to know what we're up against. This is why it's so important to have discernment in these times. I'm telling you what I know. Okay, the Bible says to know them who labor among you. And that's not just working. Now, back in the Bible days, they labored and they and they worked with a lot of people. Like you, again, when you go to work, you need to know what spirits is around you. But not only that, when you're home, when you're, you know, um, allowing your children to go to somebody's house, you need to know the spirits that are dwelling around you and yours. It's so important to know them that labor among you. And guess what? Everybody's not going to understand when your discernment kicks in and say something is not right. Everybody's not going to understand when you say, no, you cannot go. Everybody's not going to understand when you say that person is not right. That That's something going on there. That's a spirit. That's a bad spirit. They're not going to understand. But guess what? It's your job to discern and put, put it out there. Okay? Stand on who you are, what you are and let God lead you. Now, that is not to be mistaken with you just being judgmental. That is not to be mistaken with, oh, you just don't like somebody. This is not that, okay? Again, spiritual warfare has everything to do with the spiritual realm and nothing to do with you. So the compulsive liar, the habitual liar, the sociopathic liar, the pathological liar, and the psychopathic liar, okay? These are the categories that um, they put this demon in and make no mistake. Again, you need to listen. If you have, have somebody in your life that just cannot stop lying or it's even, you know, just, you know, you just know that they're, they're not telling the truth. Like there is no truth to it. Like that is a demon and you have to deal with demons in the spiritual realm and slay it. Okay. Through what? Prayer. Through what? Fasting. Through what? staying in the father's face that's how you overcome any demon okay they tremble at the name of god and let me tell you something about about this about um satan right and how the bible says that he is the father of lies so i'm gonna read that scripture real quick so the bible says this about satan okay we're in john chapter 8 verse 44 you are of your father the devil and the desires of your father you want to do okay yeah that's self-explanatory he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him okay listen again if somebody is in your life and just lying please understand there is no truth in nothing that these people say or this demon okay because again our battle is spiritual we we don't wrestle against flesh and blood okay so uh -uh, here we go there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. Okay? He is the father of lies. So guess what? That's the number one way to tell if you have a demon in your life. If somebody is around you and, and you know, it's just not sitting well with you, guess what? It's a demon there. So moral of the story satan is warring against the saints at this time he is warring against us okay now is not the time to be weak now is not the time to be a coward now is the time to be who god called you to be okay and he always told you to be brave he always told you to be bold okay even if you're not like a real bold you know boisterous person you be bold in your prayer closet and slay that demon so one thing that you should always remember is that liars do not like people that they cannot lie to, okay? Manipulators do not like people that they cannot manipulate and deceivers do not like people that they cannot deceive. It's Satan hates when you don't fall for his devices, when those attacks come and they don't bother you like they used to. Listen, you might fall, you might slip, but at the end of the day, you bounce right back. Okay. Um, I love you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Do not forget you can email me at speakhervoice2 T O O at gmail.com. I have been fighting such heavy spiritual warfare. I will be bringing a lot of, of these videos to you. Okay. Stay away from these liars. Women, beware of these liars and deceivers. 
Men, be aware of these lying, liars and deceivers. Parents, be aware of these lying, the lying spirit, okay? Um, please be aware of, um, thank you, Lord. I just heard the Lord. He dropped this in my spirit. The lying prophets. The Bible says that it was a lying spirit in the mouth of the prophets. Uh-oh, uh-oh, let's talk about it. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me pull that up. But the Bible talks about the lying spirit. I'll put a, a lying spirit in the mouth of the prophets. Or I'll be a lying spirit in the mouth of the prophets. That's what the Bible says. Um, so, so please, listen. You better have discernment in these times. Um, I hope you like this video. I love you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Until next time, God bless.